Greetings one and all. Welcome back to my kitchen here today where I'm going to be making a nice risotto dish. Now my risotto is going to be flavoured with some nice uh, Tanqueray gin with some asparagus and some goat's cheese and um, yeah looking forward to it. So just to get ahead of the game here I've already melted here a sort of I don't know, a small knob of butter. Uh, oh, I'll medium size, you can see there. And then this pot here, I've got a litre of chicken stock, which I've just brought up to heat, but it's not boiling. I've turned the heat right down on it, so it just sits there staying warm. All right, first thing into our butter here, and I might even turn it down a bit now, because it's sizzling. Because I've got half an onion just chopped. And here, I've got the stalks of some asparagus. Now what I did is I just snapped off the, um, the spears, where they snapped off naturally. And um, then I've put them aside, because we're still going to use those, but these stalks I've just chopped. And I'm going to put them in now with the onion as well. Fresh asparagus. Don't uh, bother with the canned stuff. You want the fresh stuff. All right. I've got here one and three quarter cup of arborio Arbor rice, risotto rice. We're just going to put that into our butter, onion, and asparagus. We're going to give that a little bit of a fry off in that butter and give it a good stir. What you're trying to do is get it all coated in that butter alrighty guys now that's been um, frying away for a couple of minutes next thing I want to do is add my alcohol now you could use white wine but I'm gonna use some uh, gin today and I've got this good brand Tanqueray imported London dry gin and I'm going to use 150 mils of that and we're going to put that in now and let that alcohol cook off. down to the uh, business end of making our risotto. So as you're probably aware, we've got this warm stock here to gradually add to this. And we're going to do that by putting a couple of ladlefuls at a time. Actually, that's a very small ladle. I might have them uh, up the handy there. keep stirring that until that liquid's evaporated and absorbed before we add more and we just keep doing that until we use all our stock up alrighty guys so I've been going for about oh, 15 minutes here now 20 minutes like I say slowly adding stock stirring it it's kind of important you keep stirring it for a few reasons so it doesn't stick because it gets quite creamy and also yeah it just makes it a creamy creamier texture all right I've got I'll put the last of this stock in now turn that one off and as you had the last bit of stock I'm gonna now add those asparagus tips as well and 
I've just tasted it, and you need to taste it as well. Uh, mine needs a bit of salt. So I generally like to wait to add the salt because it depends on your stock, how salty it is. Um, might need another couple of pinches. So in they go. And I'll just give this a last final stir for a few minutes. Alrighty guys, so that's just about done now. So what I'll do is I'll just turn off the um, heat. Just keep stirring it though because it's quite susceptible to sticking at the moment. Just let it cool slightly. Alrighty guys, so that's just cooled slightly and um, I just want to show you what you're after. You don't want it to go totally mushy, but you do want that rice to all be cooked. So you've got still got individual grains, like so, and if you taste that, it's still just got a slight little bite to it. Not crunchy, but just a little bite to it, and that's perfect. Now, to finish this off, we're going to get a bit, uh, add some richness to this. So I've got a little bit more butter, just a small knob that I've just sliced up. A few bits like so. Now, it is goat's cheese. <laughs> so I've got 120 grams of a nice store-bought goat's cheese. That I've just sort of crumbled up, roughly sort of chopped up, whatever. That can go in as well. Just get it off my knife. I've got a good handful of fresh basil leaves that I've just sort of roughly chopped up. And here, got about a hundred grams of, now here you could use parmesan, but I'm actually using grana padano cheese, similar sort of effect, and that's a yeah, good hundred grams grated, so a hundred grams after it's grated, and we'll just give that a, all a good stir for it. And we'll just let that sit for a couple of minutes. It'll just sort of amalgamate a little bit better. Uh, I'll put the lid on it. Yeah. Just for a couple of minutes. Or well, maybe five minutes. I'll get back to you when I'm serving. Alrighty guys, so I've served up a plate of my uh, risotto, as you can see, um, yeah, it's looking good. As you saw, I've just all I did was sprinkle on a little bit more of that hard cheese, that grana padano cheese, um, of course, yeah, like I said, use parmesan if you want, a few fresh basil leaves, the garnish, uh, let's taste a bit. I'm going to go up the top here because I can see a nice bit of goat's cheese there awaiting me. And let's see if we can get a focus today. Nice and close. So really all I want to show you is the actual arborio rice. You can still see the grains in there. 
they're just sitting in the nice creamy cheesy goodness <laughs> in the middle all right let's taste it <clears throat> absolutely delicious and um, just what I needed <clears throat> I really only made this um, on the spur of the moment because I had some major dental work yesterday so I couldn't really um, eat anything that wasn't soft today so this really fitted the bill this recipe I've made it many many times I know it's a beauty and I hope you try it too So thanks for watching guys, as always, thanks to those who subscribe to the channel, if you haven't subscribed yet can I just ask that you hit that subscription button, that's free, just gives me encouragement, keep doing videos like this, um, but yeah, if you don't want to, no worries, alrighty, I'll see you all next time.